Peace with you everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor. Really grateful to have you here today. And in today's video I'm going to be doing another unboxing and first impressions. I just got this package in the mail from Fragrance X, I believe I got this. Uh, this is a, um, I got one fragrance from the house of Yardley, Yardley Original. Uh, it's supposed to be their first fragrance. I think it was released in the 70s sometime. Uh, it's supposed to be a, uh, it's supposed to smell like 1 million, uh, Paco Rabanne 1 million, uh, but obviously this would have came out first. Uh, so that's Yardley Original. And then I got one more fragrance from the house of Enrico G. I recently did a first impressions on an Enrico G fragrance uh, in my last video. Was not too impressed with it, however. Uh, it was rather faint, just a very faint caramel scent. I put it on before bed uh, and I couldn't smell it in the morning, so uh, usually that tells me that the performance on it is not that great, but uh, this is Oud Nobile, and this is, uh, or Oud Noble, if, uh, or no, Nobile, N-O-B-I-L-E. Uh, Oud Nobile, so this had the highest rating out of all of the Enrico G Oud fragrances on Parfumo uh, because this house isn't on Fragrantic at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just start off with the, the Yardley fragrance. Um, so I think, if I remember correctly, this is kind of a citrus, amber, cinnamon fragrance. Uh, maybe a little bit of patchouli in the base. I have, I've gotten three fragrances from the house of Yardley. Uh, one was Gentleman Elite, I believe, which is a rather nice kind of Blue de Chanel uh, style fragrance with a unique sort of pine note in there. Uh, okay, so this is a really nice bottle actually, really hefty, uh, nice glass. Um, cap is a little bit of a cheap plastic, but overall the presentation is pretty elegant here. Um, yeah, really, really heavy glass on this one, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try this one out on my left hand here, get a look at the atomizer, go ahead and spray that one on. Okay, really good atomizer, nice distribution. Uh, so far, rather impressed with the presentation. Uh, I picked this one up because I saw it in a top uh, fragrances under X amount of Currency. I think the video I saw was uh, Indian or from the Indian continent, so I couldn't uh, understand what was being said. But I know that this was mentioned as being in the top fragrances under a certain price bracket, so I was interested in checking this one out. Uh, I think they said it was good for winter time, and I'm on the hunt a little bit of a treasure hunt for winter cheapies still uh, going into January and February. Uh, so I'm going to let that one settle down. What I'm smelling in the air right now, however, is actually rather pleasant. Um, but I'm going to give it some time to settle on the skin. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up this fragrance from Enrico G while I'm waiting. Uh, I did notice, however, when I opened up the last Enrico G box that the fragrance pyramid is located uh, right here on the lid, uh, I don't know, yeah, so we've got some top notes, heart and base. Uh, so this was, the notes on the last fragrance, the Oud Privé, were completely different from what was on Parfumo. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and read the notes that are in this one. So we have top notes of bergamot, bitter orange, coriander, black pepper, and artemisia. Heart notes of nutmeg, oud, cinnamon, frankincense, and geranium leaves. Base of amber, styrax, uh, santal or sandalwood, vetiver, and vanilla. Okay, so go ahead and get this one out. Uh, looks very similar to all the other oud fragrances in the Enrico G line. Uh, this one has a little bit of darker of a sticker than the oud Privé. Uh, hopefully this one has a little bit more uh, punch to it, a little bit better lasting power. I'm um, going to go ahead and stick this one on my right hand. 
give it a few extra sprays just because uh, what I've experienced from this house so far has been a little bit lackluster in terms of uh, performance or you know um, push I guess like I said the last fragrance I tried to prevé from them was rather light all right so I'm gonna go ahead and check out the Yardley original Okay, so this is uh, pretty nice, um, not particularly wowing me, but I do enjoy what I'm smelling so far. It's got a little bit of like a fresh linen type vibe with some nice ambery sweetness underneath of it. I've never smelled the original One Million. Uh, I the only ones I own from the One Million line are Lucky and um, uh, Privé. Um, so I can't really compare this to the original One Million. But yeah, it's, it's uh, decent. Um, I don't know if I would include it in like a top 10 cheapies list or not though. I'd have to get some more full wearings out of it. and see how the longevity is but uh, again this one uh, this Yardley I feel like is suffering a bit of uh, similar shortcomings that the Oud Privé from the last first impressions I did it's just like a little bit soft for me um, and I kind of like my fragrances to be not quite beast mode but just to have a nice really uh, you know middle ground of loudness in terms of its projection and everything but this is like a really nice sort of ambery uh, uh, linen, like drier sheet linen type of vibe with like a, a soft ambery sweetness. Yeah, super casual type of fragrance. Um, I could see enjoying wearing it around the house, but uh, it's not standing out or anything. To me right now, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out the uh, Oud. This is Oud Nobile. Okay, so this is definitely a lot more. Um, uh, it's got a lot more punch to it than the last uh, fragrance from the Enrico G Oud line that I tried, the Oud Privé. This one is. Uh, it's pretty interesting I don't know if I'm that big of a fan of it just yet it's got some nice peppery aspects to it peppery woody sweet I can kind of pick up that geranium that's giving a little bit of like a minty style um, freshness yeah very just strange fragrance there's like a uh, kind of a cacophony of uh, different elements going on here and I don't want to say it's not well blended but there's just like a lot going on hmm hmm I do have to say I think I enjoy this one a little bit more than the Yardley and I think the Yardley is a fine fragrance too so yeah both of these um, nothing really wowing me at the moment uh, I'll have to get some more wares out of them they are both pretty cheap I think I got this one for about thirty dollars at fragrance net and this one was uh, or fragrance X sorry this one was like twenty bucks yeah let me look at the note breakdown on the uh, Oud Nobile one more time. Frankincense, yeah. It's not overly sweet. I, I think it is a little bit more of a smoky, smoky black pepper. The frankincense and black pepper, I think, are sticking out more than anything. And then there is like a woody aspect in here. I don't think it's a real oud just because it's so cheap of a fragrance. But then again, I think these might be so cheap because the um, 
I believe Enrico G went under as a fragrance house and then they resurfaced again uh, but they didn't bring this line back uh, so I think whatever stock is available of these fragrances that's on discounters right now is all that's left out there uh, so if you are interested in terms of just being a collector and wanting to find some fragrances I would give it some thought just because these are somewhat of a limited run the Oud Privé didn't was not particularly something that I don't think I would recommend just because it hasn't done much for me um, in terms of just even me be, even being able to smell it because it's so light but yeah this is uh, a pretty nice little smoky peppery sweet I don't think it's that mass appealing though But I'll have to get some full wearings out of it and see how it wears in terms of like wafting around and uh, sort of how it smells uh, more so than just like sniffing it up close off my hand. This one's evolving, uh, however. The Yardley's evolving quite a bit and it's getting a nice... Nice bit more like creamy. Hmm. Yeah, bo both of these are uh, fine fragrances, but nothing too wowing. I think they're worth their price. They are cheapies, but they are I don't think they're going to be making any of my top 10 lists, at least right now, off of these first impressions. Uh, so yeah, this was uh, my attempt at a little bit of a cheapy treasure hunt. Neither of these really um, are sticking out to me at the moment, but I'm going to get uh, some feedback maybe in some future weekly wears. I'll, I'll see how my experience with these are moving forward. Um, let me know if you tried either of these or uh, if you've ever heard of the House of Enrico G or tried any of their current in-production fragrances. I've only tried... Uh, this discontinued oud line, but I know that they have some other fragrances that uh, they're still selling. Like I think one's called Original Sin, and I think there's one that features a tomato leaf uh, fragrance note, which is kind of a unique, um, underused fragrance uh, profile, which I rather enjoy as somebody who's worked with tomatoes. Um, so yeah, appreciate you sticking with me to the end of this one. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.